I have a brand new sequence plan for you. This one is all about single leg strength and stability, crucial for runners in terms of injury prevention and also performance. We're gonna fire up all those deep stabilizers. We're gonna challenge your balance, your coordination, and mechanically you're gonna feel much better for it when you go out for your session. So we're gonna start this one nice and simple in a double leg squat position. Just get yourself primed up here, hands to the hips initially, feet just wider than hip width apart, push your hips straight back and let's get into it. So coming into your squat, as you stand tall, drive your left knee up nice and high. All right, starting nice and simple, you have your deep squat at the bottom. You have your single knee drive to the top. And we're gonna start here to add that calf rise at the bottom. Coming down, pause. It's a single leg bent knee calf rise on the right, Salis. And then you've got your knee drive at the top. We're also gonna to start to add some running man arms, keeping it super functional to running. So as you lift your knee, reciprocal arm swing, right arm lift, left knee lift. And then we switch it across as you squat, single leg calf rise at the bottom. Lift, drive, pause. Squat, single leg lift. All right, so as you're getting this flow, it's really good to keep your eyes on something stable to keep your stability. And we're gonna to start to add a little bit of hip opening. So lift to pause at the top, opening up through the hip, back to center, and return. Single calf rise, single knee drive, and a little open and close. So you wanna keep your hips nice and stacked, squat, Lift, drive, open. All right, we're coming up to some really, really strong single leg stability next. We've got an arabesque challenge. So see if you can just keep your eyes fixed on the same spot. You have three more here. Nice and stable through the hips. Naturally, the hips will open as you open the knee. Last two. And very last one here. Coming up to hold this last one at the top. This is the fun bit here. Those hands will come to the hips, square off through your knees, and then we start to arabesque. Hinging your hips forwards, straightening your leg to the back. And then we drive that right knee straight up tall as the left knee follows through. So it's a soft bend in your knees, you lower into your arabesque. You've only got five in total and then you wanna drive your right knee to straighten as that left knee lifts. That right leg will be feeling it pretty strong throughout that whole plane. Foot, ankle, calf, hips, quad, hammy. Last two. One final little challenge coming up. Holding this last one at the bottom, final little challenge here, hinge and hold, 15 seconds of running man arms here. So you're hinging your chest forward, you have your back leg straight, you're in a horizontal plane for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up tall, shake and shimmy out that poor little right leg. He's done some work. Maybe even go for a couple of ankle rolls as well, just to flush out through that foot, through the calf, through the Achilles. And you know the drill, straight up and straight onto it for the other side. So starting this nice and simple with your hands on your hips, shooting your hips straight back into your double leg squat. And then as you stand tall, that's when the stability happens, right knee lift. Double leg squat march and single leg lift. So as you're doing it, you wanna push your hips right back and then get that right knee up nice and tall. We're gonna add in that single leg calf rise as well at the bottom, coming down deep. Keep your hips square as you lift, lower and drive. Adding in those running man arms next. So on your next one here, start to incorporate that reciprocal arm swing, left arm forwards as that right knee lifts. Coming back down to pause, calf rise. It's an arm drive, it's a knee lift, it's a squat and a bent knee calf rise. So that's Celeus in particular. After this next one, we're gonna add that final portion here, that little knee opener. So drive to hold, keep your hips square as you open the knee to close and straight back down. 
you had that knee drive to pause. Little open of the knee to close and straight back down. So what you wanna do here is just try and keep your pelvis in the same orientation as when you're squatting, as when you're doing your calf rise and with your single leg. So you wanna keep that really stable pelvic position. And we're starting to really boot up here through the feet, ankles and calves, as well as through the hips. And we've got another four reps here before we go for that final challenge into that arabesque. So this left side is starting to feel it, it's warming up, it's starting to fatigue and that's where the magic happens. Three to go. And just with that arm swing, using it for balance here as well, but also for form. So try and replicate that running form, keeping the elbows close to the body, shoulders nice and relaxed, and eyes fixed on something nice and stable. We're coming up to our last one here. And then we get to come into that forward arabesque hinge. Finishing this last one, back to your start position, hands to your hips, then start to slowly hinge forwards. Extend your leg to the back. And then keeping that stability, right knee will drive. So there's only five reps in total. You're gonna really start to feel that left side leg. And if you do do this session again, you're very welcome to try it barefoot. You're very likely to try it even on a softer surface to make it more challenging. Both those things will make it more difficult than being in shoes. So you can always layer it up if you're finding a little easy. However, it does test a lot of things here. Strength, stability, coordination, mobility. And the final little finisher to come here, last bit is the best bit we come down, extend, hold, elbows next to your side waist, 15 seconds here of running man arms, eyes forwards, elbows close. Nice and steady here with that arm swing for 10, nine, eight, seven, hang in there, six, five, four, three, two, one and done. Off, shake it off. Rolling out through that left side leg. Those stabilizers are warm, they are active. You are ready to go for your run. Let me know how you feel in that mechanical pattern of running straight after this session. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with AB. If you did, I have a whole buffet of sessions below, a free trial which includes over 240 on-demand sessions, live classes, small, short, sharp, and snappy little routines to help you run better, improve your posture, prevent injury, and perform at your best any time of the day. Give it a go.